Hello everyone, this is Serenis here, back with another great gameplay for you guys today. And this will be my 150th uh, gameplay, guys, in my infamous Halo 4 playlist here on Serenis Vids. So, a really proud moment for me, and I'm very excited to deliver you guys a Team Doubles gameplay on the Master Chief Collection. against none other than Halo 3 matchmaking legends B11 and Tommy Cost as that gameplay. Now, the Halo 4 playlist on my channel, guys, goes back to my very first days of playing Halo 4, so sort of release day right until now, um, up until this gameplay, which just happened the uh, last weekend, uh, guys, so literally the weekend has just passed. My bestie, Ryan, um, played on Heroic 7 this gameplay, and uh, myself decided to play uh, MCC doubles, because it was just the two of us on this night of games, and uh, we're both on Halo 5, just, uh, you know, not knowing what to do, and with that game, you definitely need a team, so we just say, said, hey man, let's go and find some nice casual to... Uh, competitive games on a Master Chief Collection doubles when all of a sudden we match B11 running on his uh, team doubles 50 and uh, Tommy Cost at level 35 and of course they wanted to play Halo 3 doubles against us which uh, no surprises there um, that was to be expected but um, since I'd just come off Halo 5 and so had Ryan um, I didn't feel like getting stomped on in uh, Halo 3 since it's been um, ages since I played on my Halo 3 um, MCC 50 and uh, same for Ryan as well, but also, you know, I didn't. I thought I probably wouldn't do Ryan justice uh, because I just didn't feel Halo 3 doubles against them at all. Uh, these are some of the, um, you know, two of the guys that are best in the game in Halo 3, so I really didn't feel like playing that. Um, and, you know, Ryan was level 22 in doubles at the time of this matchup. I was level 18. And uh, there was also a Halo 4 doubles option in the voting screen, so we thought our best chance to... Uh, beat them is to probably vote Halo 4 doubles because Ryan knew I was a Halo 4 doubles player and uh, Ryan was a really good shot on Halo 3 and really good at Halo 4 because of that so with two votes on Halo 3 doubles and two votes on Halo 4 doubles uh, it was a tie so the uh, the choice was randomized and we ended up getting Halo 4 doubles as a match guys and this is the gameplay you're going to see today and that's kind of what we wanted because we f definitely felt it was our best chance to win them as a double team. I think that perhaps Ryan and Gamble can beat uh, B11 and Tommy Cost in head of three doubles or at least have a good chance. But I felt that I would let Ryan down if I played against B11 and Tommy Cost at um, Halo 3. So, uh, you know, obviously, um, I think obviously in light of this win that I got, you know, got against uh, B11 and Tommy Cost, I would definitely rematch them on Halo 3 to be sporting. Um, but, you know, just uh, such respect for them, uh, both amazing matchmaking legends, and uh, I've got to be honest with you guys, I know that Tommy Koss is not um, a Halo 4 player at all, but um, with how good a doubles player he is, I've seen him have, uh, you know, have wins on Ninja and Spartan, Straight Sick, and, uh, you know, uh, Prototype as well, and gameplays on Halo 3, I definitely expected him to be, uh, you know, somewhat competent at Halo 4 doubles, so I was quite surprised with the score in which we... Uh, you know, dominated this match, and uh, you know, B11 played a lot of uh, doubles with Twisted Minds as well, and was really good at um, all doubles uh, variants and all games himself. So I was quite surprised um, at the beginning there as well, guys. Just to comment, um, you know, this is one of my first games just coming off Halo 5, so I was a little bit rusty. And uh, as you can see, choking getting that sword was an awful play. Um, but you know, we we're all doing it. As you can see, B11 just handed me the shotgun, so you know, we we're all doing it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely some rough chokes in this game. In no way, um, in any means, guys, this is like my best uh, doubles gameplay, to be honest. It's just because uh, we got an epic win and I just wanted to share it with you. Um, and, you know, um, considering how well Ryan and I worked together to get this awesome win. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoy it. So playing that landfall Legendary Slayer BRs, guys, which is a slightly uh, interesting game type for us to get. Um, it's not one of the original uh, doubles game types from the original game. Um, what I mean by that is it, it, was, it, it wasn't a game type that was in existence on the um, Xbox 360. So um, that's why, like with the power weapons on this map, they only come up once because of that. Because this was never a proper game type on the real game. So Free for Free never actually made the settings correct for this to be played. So the weapons that spawn on this map will never spawn again. So the initial weapon grabs are the only time that power weapons come up on this. After they've been used or um, lost in battle, that's it. They won't ever come up again. So when you get the weapons on this map, you really have to stay alive and really use the garage well on the MCC doubles variant of it because 
the weapons will never come up again, so if you die with it, you've got 12 seconds to get back over there to retrieve it if that's, uh, if if you know if the other player hasn't already stole it from your um, dead body so basically you just have to really conserve the power weapons and uh, at the start of this gameplay Ryan did a great play in uh, retrieving rockets and I think outplaying B11 for him so that's a great play um, had I've got the saw off Tommy Cost in the beginning we would have had a much uh, stronger lead at the start but regardless we did a really great play um, having the shotguns really going to create a lot of problems for uh, B11 and Tommy Koss right here because I'm a real uh, beast with this thing and you know if I can stay alive with this I won't really have to pull out that shaky BR so because <laughs> it definitely was a bit rusty having not played Halo 4 since last year um, but you know I'm definitely looking to rise to the occasion guys in this gameplay so as you can see guys you know Ryan doing really well as well getting a nice killing spree there um, I think Ryan this game get 19 kills really huge from him with about 2 KD and uh, I went 11 and 4 this gameplay as well nearly getting a 3 KD just under so um, really great play for both of us really you know stay alive really well together pretty nice killing spree there um, at that point I didn't shoot Ryan um, after I finished off B11 I was trying to help him with Tommy Cost but unfortunately as you can see Tommy Cost uh, gets away he uh, throws a nice nade here which I actually thought was going to uh, connect with me because of the nade indicator but it actually lands on the um, down on the ground where I go to sort of drop and uh, does do quite a bit of damage because of that so going to stay alive there and uh, look towards uh, where the enemy are going to push us from so as you can see really nice uh, nade on B11 there, Serenity's nades are back in the uh, hit of 4 doubles just at the right time as well for this sweaty matchup um, <laughs> so right here looking to put more uh, Hurt on B11 and Tommy Cost guys, but I realise I'm alone there, so I'm just going to back up and wait for Ryan, and uh, literally just you know make the most of my shot, um, shotgun. But at this point, guys, you can see um, that's definitely a Halo 5 thing. You know the uh, radar is obviously a massive difference, and uh, I thought B11 was a lot closer than he actually was. Um, it was actually uh, he was actually a lot further back, so I'm not going to get that kill, and uh, you know he's going to walk away with that one unfortunately, and that's going to be. Unless B11 retrieved it, that's going to be the shotgun out of play, so I don't know if he has it at this point. So i um, looking to sort of distance myself from him a little bit. So when I get this pre-nade on B11 right here, I don't know Tommy Cost is dead, so I say to Ryan, right, um, get here, because B11's right here, I think he's weak. I'm not sure if he has a shotty though. So at this point, I didn't want to rush uh, straight from the side because Ryan had it covered. I uh, didn't realise he needed you know, more help, so it was a bit late running in there to help him out. But... Um, at this point, just reason to stay alive and wait for Ryan to see where he spawns um, before challenging Tommy Koss here. So that was a really nice play. And unfortunately here, just biding my time uh, with my shields. I should have maybe popped out a bit quicker there for B11, but I didn't think Ryan would die. So that was just uh, you know, I'm a bad, bad play on my part, I guess. You know, I could have perhaps come up earlier. So at that point, I knew I was getting double teamed by B11 and Tommy Koss. So... I just had to do my best to get them both weak for Ryan in the next life and he does uh, such a really nice play to come into the uh, garage and just put some really nice shots down. Um, great play from him to actually achieve that, some really nice play um, and you know it definitely paid off because we got a kill out of it so it's a really nice play. At this point guys I'm going to put a pre-nade there, um, this is Tommy Koss I'm chasing so I'm looking just to uh, you know put a nice pre-nade there to keep him weak, keep him suppressed uh, behind the uh, door there as you can see. Um, he's edging out here because he knows that he couldn't run to the right because I would have killed him. And he couldn't run to the left either because he knows that Ryan was waiting for him, so that's all that he could really do there. At that point, I Ryan then double team uh, B11 together, so end up getting ourselves another two kills there, so that's really huge. At this point, guys, you know, they're inside garage, so I'm just going to stay alive here rather than challenge a kill like that. And obviously, you now I've been naded as well, so I just want to buy time to get my shields. Some really nice shots on B11 here. Unfortunately, the AR was a bit too uh, a bit too strong for me. And I'm going to be taking out some really nice uh, finishing shots from B11 there. Um, and uh, I think Ryan does a great play to actually finish off that kill. So that's really huge from Ryan. Um, immediately, as you can see, just getting right back to him, um, trying not to leave Ryan on his own. At, you know, at any point in this uh, game, because it's all coming down to a uh, VR team shot now. So I'm definitely there with Ryan and um, helping him out at B11. Nearly finished off Tommy with that nade, um, decided to run around because I definitely had him weak, so definitely looking to chase that kill on Tommy, he's going to run away, um, and I'm going to chase the kill on him. Uh, being a little bit careful here not to run fully in because B11 might be waiting as well. Um, really nice uh, couple of shots on there, but I couldn't finish off the uh, the last few remaining shots there because uh, Tommy sort of ran out right in front, so I had to quickly uh, 
switch out for the AR and finish that kill off in a really nice play. So, so a good bit of play there. Um, at this point, see that they spawn their tower. So, just going to wait for my opportunity. Um, should have really. Uh, this was a bit of a radar fail again as well. Should have realised that. Uh, that player was outside rather than the garage, um, and he comes back in through the garage, and uh, I'm going to chase B11 down, do get the uh, BR kill, that's just a nice play. And uh, again, saw Tommy on the tower, so decided to sort of come away, and uh, you know, wait for Ryan again for our double team, and you know, catching off uh, B11 and Tommy quite um, on their own a lot in this gameplay, actually, and making it a lot easier on ourselves, and making it... Uh, very a comfortable win, really, guys. Um, so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Um, it's just a really awesome one for me, definitely fitting of uh, the 150th video um, in my Halo 4 playlist, so happy of this win. i got to be honest with you guys, I still can't believe it's real, I had to ask Ryan after, like, did this gameplay just really happen, did we really just be... B11 and Tommy Koss, but there you go. Ryan, Heroic7, and Serenis beat B11 and Tommy Koss, guys. This was Serenis, and, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.